Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and today is episode 2 of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Tips of the Week. If you guys haven't seen last week's episode, definitely go and check it out as there's some super useful tips for the Tontons on Hoth and how to rack up huge amounts of battle points while riding them. Now before I get into this week's tip, I want you all to know that I'm currently running a Star Wars t-shirt giveaway for the month of January and if you want to enter that, I will leave a Gleam link down in the description for you to enter there. Anyways, let's jump right into this week's tip. Now, this week I want to talk about Leia. Yes, whether a princess or a general, she's definitely a badass either way. However, I feel like she gets overlooked when players go to choose a hero because everyone tends to go for the lightsaber wielders first. And yes, I myself was guilty of that at one point also until I figured out this tip. Now, Leia has her flash grenade, which can be really useful in tight spots and her squad shield which is great for helping out on the objective but personally I think her upgraded E11 blaster needs to do a bit more damage. I mean yes it has a good fire rate but its damage is almost nothing and still takes a lot of hits to take down even a standard trooper. Now her abilities aren't what I want to discuss in this video. The tip of the week is Leia's secondary fire from her blaster. Most of you who played Battlefront 2015 remember Leia had her trooper bane ability and that's basically what this is however now it has more of a tracked shot. What I mean by this is you can hold down the button which is normally zoom to activate her secondary fire. Aim it towards an enemy and as long as there is an enemy close to the way you point it will track in, hit them and kill them instantly. The only thing it won't kill in one hit are reinforcements and heavies that have been buffed by battle command but most of the time it's going to be a one hit kill. If you've been watching the clip in the background you can see me rack up a ton of kills on crate with Leia's secondary fire and it's insanely OP. I managed to finish this round with a 46 kill streak with Leia which might not seem like a lot however the match did end very early in the third phase. Crate is an absolute perfect map for this as it's so flat in that first phase there's nowhere for the enemy troopers to hide and it's basically just going to home in and destroy everyone. Guys this tip is super effective especially like I mentioned on maps like Crate, Starkiller Base and Hoth and Leia is without a doubt now my go to light side hero on those couple of maps just because it's so open and so easy to use the secondary shot. Think about this. I know everyone is super frustrated with Palpatine bouncing around all over the place and being really hard to hit. Well, if you use Leia's secondary fire and keep a good distance, the auto lock is sure to help take him out and make sure he isn't too much of a problem. I've seen people rack up hundreds of kills with Palpatine. I think I saw a 140 something kill streak with him the other day. Absolutely insane because no one can hit him. He just jumps up and down, spins out the way. He's so hard to hit. But with this tracked shot, I think you have a really, really good chance of taking him out. So guys, that is this week's Battlefront 2 tip of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if this tip has helped you, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below. And be sure to subscribe for more tips in the coming weeks, as well as being entered into the giveaway. If you want to be updated instantly when I upload a new video, also be sure to hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'm going to leave the rest of the kill streak playing for you guys to watch, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I am the Twisted Jedi, and may the Force be with you.